Welcome to another segment of Under the Microscope. I'm Jeff Golden. Thanks so much for being with us today. I have the great honor of being joined by Dr. Thomas Nasca. Dr. Nasca serves as the Chief Executive Officer of the Accreditation Council on Graduate Medical Education, the ACGME. And Tom is visiting with us for the next day or so to talk about some of the innovative programs and challenges and opportunities that graduate medical education holds for us. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your being here. My pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. Uh, we could talk about a lot of different things in graduate medical education, but our campus has been very focused on the learning environment mm -hmm. recently. Uh, Tim Brigham recently visited us and was part of a full day panel that we had focusing on the learning environment and specifically on stress and burnout. And I thought I would ask you and with our audience here today, a little bit about why the ACGME is so focused on the learning environment. Well, as you're aware, there's a, a tremendous body of knowledge now that would indicate that the quality of care rendered by physicians after graduation is predicted by the quality of care and other dimensions of care provided in the clinical learning environment. So whether it's patient safety, quality of care, cost of care, uh, conservative nature of care. Studies indicate that the higher the quality of the educational experience in the learning environment, which is really the, a reflection of the quality of the learning environment, mm -hmm. the higher the quality of the practice of the graduate up to 20 years after graduation from residency. So for us then, um, this gives us a predictor of the quality of performance of graduates of training programs. And our goal is, in a collaborative fashion, to work with the community to have each community uh, work diligently to improve the safety, quality of care rendered to their patients, because that's the teaching that goes on to our next generation of physicians. So what I'm hearing you say, it's not just about the environment in which residents, uh, students, uh, faculty members, nurses, and others work, but it's about how that's carried forward for decades after they graduate from the program. As you're aware, ACGME's mission really commands that we pay attention not only to the safety and quality of care rendered by residents during their educational experience, but our goal really is to produce outstanding clinicians who reproduce that throughout their entire career. And become the mentors of the next generation. Of the next generation. And so could you give us one example of a program that the ACGME has put together uh, to try to foster uh, the future learning environment? Well, probably the, the, the largest program that we put together is the CLEAR program, the Clinical Learning Environment Review Program, which is a, um, a formative experience. We bring a team of experts to each institution. Those experts spend three days with the leadership of the institution. They walk the floors day and night, and they learn uh, about the processes of care, the processes of safety, and the learning of the residents and other members of the healthcare team. And then they reflect that back to the institution, not in a judgmental fashion, mm -hmm. but in a fashion of providing it with a formative opportunity so that they can identify areas to improve. And then we come back again in two years uh, to try and help them understand how much progress they've made. And I think that's really so important because the ACGME has been looked at as an accrediting body, of course, for a very long period of time. But this is not an accreditation process. This is really a formative process, a way of helping the institution get better without rendering judgment. Right. I think the, the response we have gotten from the community has just been overwhelmingly positive. Um, the desire to improve processes of care is ubiquitous. No one wants to provide less than stellar care. Of course. And everyone wants feedback. And to provide it in a fashion that's non-judgmental, as you mentioned, and also confidential. So we do not share this information with any other part of the accreditation process. We don't share it with anyone other than the institution itself. Uh, that's our pledge to the community. And uh, we've worked diligently to establish that trust so that institutions will open their doors to us so that we can give them an accurate reflection of where we think they are. 
Well, that's so innovative and so forward thinking. I know we here at Nebraska Medicine have learned an awful lot from the visits that we've had from the CLEAR team, and we look forward to continuing to improve our learning environment for our students. Tom, thank you very much for joining us today, and thank you for joining us on this segment of Under the Microscope.